In March 2016, U.S. President Donald Trump described his then-campaign aide George Papadopoulos as an excellent guy. By November this year, he was just a low-level volunteer and a liar. Here's what we know about the man at the center of the FBI's probe into Russian election interference and how a boozy night out with Australian diplomat Alexander Downer sparked his downfall. Mr. Papadopoulos worked as a foreign policy advisor for Mr. Trump during his 2016 presidential campaign. As a 30-something political arts graduate, he was a young, junior member of the team. The New York Times has described him as brash and boastful. But according to senior ABC reporter Ann Barker, he was virtually unknown outside Washington until it was revealed in October that he had lied to the FBI. Mr. Papadopoulos pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI about his campaign contacts with Russian officials. Court documents unsealed two months ago show in April 2016 he met with Joseph Mifsud, a professor in London who he believed to have substantial connections in the Russian government and who claimed to have thousands of emails that would hurt Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. Mr. Papadopoulos said such contacts occurred before he joined Mr. Trump's campaign, but that later turned out to be false. When the news of his confession broke, it was initially overshadowed by news of Paul Manafort, the one-time chairman of Donald Trump's campaign, being charged with money laundering and conspiracy against the U.S. White House spokeswoman Sarah Huckabee Sanders said at the time that Mr. Papadopoulos' role was extremely limited and no activity was ever done in an official capacity on behalf of the campaign. But it later became apparent that Mr. Papadopoulos would cause considerable grief for Mr. Trump. That's a big question. Mr. Papadopoulos says in March 2016 he told a meeting of foreign policy advisers that he had connections who could help arrange a meeting between Mr. Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin. Mr. Trump was at that meeting, but says he doest remember much about it. A photograph posted on Mr. Trump's Instagram account showed Mr. Papadopoulos sitting two seats from Jeff Sessions, now Mr. Trump's Attorney General. Mr. Sessions denied knowing anything about communications between the Trump campaign and Russia in January this year. But in November he admitted he could now recall the meeting. The New York Times has reported that Mr. Papadopoulos went out drinking with Australia's High Commissioner to the UK Alexander Downer, one of our top diplomats, in May 2016. That night, he allegedly told Mr. Downer that Russia was shopping dirt on Hillary Clinton to her political rivals. When leaked Democratic Party emails began appearing in public two months later, it's alleged Australian officials passed that intel on to their American counterparts. And voila, that helped trigger the FBI investigation. ABC slash AP